I'm coming, that's the pieces. And this is what we're going to, I don't know what I'm saying, we're gonna turn it into whatever you want. Robes, napkins, tablecloths, table runners, uh, loungewear, aprons, whatever you want. So the work is finished, he did all of that. I can't believe how quickly he works, like OMG. So y'all, tell me what you want, somebody told me robes you wanna make or different things, but tablecloth, I think a tablecloth is coming. And a lot of you requested the color orange. So I'm gonna turn this around and show you the beautiful work. Now, look how gorgeous it is. Now keep in mind that it's not dried yet. So baby, the process is now it dries. Then and I rinse. Then I you rinse, rinse it. Ready. Okay, so, so tell us about this. So the process is. Yeah, when, when it dries, the color develop finish. I'll just rinse it there. Rinse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the excess color for me, then that is it. That is it. Yeah, the excess chemical, not color. Right. Yeah. Good. The chemical. Because okay. the color has already reacted. So okay. When it is dry, it has reacted already. Okay. So you can't go out again. So it's a chemical water. I just have to rinse it. Yes. And that That's is it. it. So let me show y'all. Because we got it out here. This is absolutely beautiful. Now don't get it twisted. They're not the same. They're all different. They're all the pattern is looking similar but it's not look at the side look at where the white is on yeah, some and the green on others yes yes they're not the same yes but they're not exactly uh love club said so the natty has grown yeah. yes yes look at this so this one is the green so this is our green so what can i'm gonna show you the other stuff as well we're going to do the fabric first. So each one is 12, six yards? Six yards. Six yards, and we're going to turn it into different things. But if you look at them each, they're all different. They're all different. Look at how, how he tied it. I should have showed you all the tied cloth. We'll show it next time. I could see it. It's a it's a different tying that he did here. Remember, this tie and dye. This is the red, different pattern. Look at it well. Y'all have a chance to look at it even more. It's looking so beautiful out here. I love it out here. Now this is the yellow. This is the yellow, another pattern. You can see that there's the, the diamond and then the other uh, the tie diamond and then the white diamond and then you can see the difference. And then this is the orange. Everybody's been asking for orange. I cannot wait. This is what I'm gonna use in the kitchen. Or something I'm gonna make with it. I think I'm gonna, maybe I'll do an apron with this one. I'm not sure, not the whole thing, but if y'all know y'all, and if, for those that just straight want to buy the cloth, if you want to buy the cloth, let me know. You can email me at afrocentrichomedesign at gmail.com. It'll be in the description box. For anybody who's straight just wants to buy the cloth, we will sell you the cloth as well. For those that are want to wait for, that's why I say I'm going to make the things you say you would buy. I'm going to make those things so that, uh, so then I know people will actually buy it. Um, it's, you know, home decor, loungewear, even clothes, of course. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Nat. Thank you, Naturally. Aren't they just absolutely? I came out here. I was like, oh my gosh, he's so good at this. And the color is vivid and beautiful. Look at the red. Look at the art. I just love the colors. Now let me show you. These are his paid clients. This is his customers. He has his own clients and his own customers. And this is the stuff that he did. Look at the beauty. This is artwork, y'all. I told him, like, I'm going to go. I'm going to show different ones. They always feel like a piece of art that's on the wall, like an abstract. And when you look at them, the more you look at it, the more you see kind of patterns or things in it. Like, they're all very beautiful. Of course, these are all drying as well. So people stop all the time and want to buy from him. Look at this one right here. Look at these. Let me go closer. Look at the patterns. The ones with the eye, I know you'll see it. But I told him, look at this one. This one right here, like, is that seriously tie and dye? How did he do this? It looked like there would be birds flying. It looked like flowers at first from the other way. Now it looks like birds flying. It looks like this, if this was just on cloth, you could literally cut this, put it in a frame, and put it on the wall. And it's truly all right. Look at that blue. That blue right there is absolutely freaking fabulous in the shorts. Look at the dark one with the green, and just look at this. This is—he got such a style. This right here is everything. This right here is everything, and this is everything. The only one that's for sale, because all the rest of them are commissioned, already done, and already paid for, is the blue shorts. And if somebody is interested in them, I'll give you the waist size. And then again, you can see all of these right here—the beautiful cloth. 
Hey, this is the first time your neighbors are seeing the cloth, though, huh? This is the first time they've seen the cloth? Yeah, yeah. Because they see the clothes, but they never saw the cloth. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, because you got, everybody's fascinated by it, so. It's so beautiful, and I wanted to share that with y'all. So this is what we're doing. So I'm going to definitely get a, um, a apron out of this, and I would love, I would love to really mess with the orange. If you like anything, if you like any color, Manasi can do any color again, right, baby? If they like a specific color, you can just do colors. So if y'all want green, some other colors were purples, blue, wine, wine, wine color would be pretty too. So you got choices, y'all. But uh, I'm about to mess with this orange over here. Maybe it's just the orange. I want to do an apron. I want to do a tablecloth. And I want to do the napkins and maybe a table runner or a cloth placemats. A whole complete set and sell it. That's what I would like. That's what I would like. And if y'all like it, I, I'll make more. But everything is ready. Once you tell me what you want, uh, it's for sale. If you just want the cloth itself, you can also have it. It's all six yards. I keep saying it. Yeah, there's a curtains too. You can definitely do, of course, the flyers curtains. Also, the sheet sets. We can do sheets, the sheets and pillows too, we'll do with that as well. So, we have all of that. All of that, ladies. So, yay. So, we had a great class today. It was absolutely magnificent. Magnificent class. Magnificent time. It was really wonderful. And so, yes, he's gonna get ready to go to school. He did all of that, y'all. But he, he started with a little bit before our class. So, what is that? Two hours, maybe three? That is amazing. Here's the garden. It rained last night. It was beautiful rain. It was a beautiful rain. Y'all, I love my little Crocs. And they literally are little. They're so comfortable and they're made in... Baby, do you know these Crocs are made in Ghana? Yeah. They say made in Ghana on them. Okay. I got to get more. Okay. I think I'm going to get different colors. Okay. Beautiful color. Wasn't it a beautiful class, naturally? It's the vibration. It's the vibration of the love and the growth. Y'all, we in this class healing. <laughs> if y'all want to join us in that deeper healing, you can join for the master classes. I got one this Sunday. I wish I could remember what it was called. It's about creating that magic around you. And uh, it's really beautiful. So I'm going to sit with y'all. Love Clever, have you checking out these algorithms? I'm waking up and I'm having, no, the same day yesterday I had over a thousand views. Like, yes. I hope you're enjoying it. Wait, wait till the stuff that comes. So I'm excited. Oh, yes, right. I, feel, I can tell you I did see the outfit of the day. I'll show you again, even with this way, you saw it. I replayed it, but yo, I'm so excited with the cloth. That's what I want to make. I want to make a tablecloth, uh, apron, all from that orange cloth, a tablecloth, an apron, and, and some uh, napkins. If I can get from that some cloth placemats, I will go for it. Because I could actually make placemats with it. I can put it on top of the placemats that are made from the palm. But if I could just get the apron, the tablecloth, and the napkins, wouldn't that be a great set? I mean, that would just be in this, put it in a set and wrap, wrap, well, I'm wrapping with the raffia and put it in a box and you, know, you buy the whole set. So now you just got your entertainment right there. You have your, you, you, I mean, my uh, apron's about to be fly. That's what I'm going to do with the orange. And if you like the it's a specific orange, you just make the orange again. The pattern will be something like it, but it's like your author's voice different. I'm so excited. So excited. It's beautiful. Everything is really working out for us. And y'all did get to see the outfit of the day. I saw it in the last video. But here is the outfit of the day for those that feel like they didn't see it. I got to go all the way back here. Dries. Now you know I'm gonna have to put that on. I have to put it on. Ebony. Ebony is my um, Ebony. She is. She is my mannequin, and she's gonna model fabric so you can see it. Again, I do sell just the fabric. We do. 
sell the fabric. If people just want that. Don't worry, I'm gonna get this. Don't worry, this landscape thing, y'all give me a few, you know, a few times and I'm gonna get it together, okay? I'm gonna get it together, honey, because they'll chop, chop the head off, you know. I'm gonna work it out. I'm gonna work it out, darling. Okay, so anyway, I hope your day is wonderful, perfect, whole, and complete. I might come one more time and then do maybe a little chit chat. But today was about the making of the fabric. Um, which, if you watch the other video, I did a very short video. I told you I was going to come with a lounge outfit for the day until I run out. So this is my second one that I'm showing y'all. Uh, we made our little cereal together this morning. Uh, and so, yeah, I just wanted to come to you and show you the finished work um, of the cloth. And then we'll get started on the things that we're going to make a bit. So let me know. Um, I'm going to do a video for my other class, but I'm going to have to go to the lunch. And then I'll come back a little bit and I'll be on the, uh, not the other class, the other channel. I have another channel for the Afrocentric on Design uh, subscribers or viewers. Um, and thank you, there's new subscribers for, the, for this channel. I want to welcome you, first of all. Hope you stay around. Um, obviously, I am posting every day because I'm feeling it. It's, if I don't feel it, it won't work. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got some new things. I think that in the bedroom, I want to show you. I think in the bedroom, I keep thinking of what I want to put behind the bed, right? And it keeps coming to me. First, I had the picture, but I'm waiting for the, this beautiful. But I, I think I'm loving this one more. I'm putting one more picture there, more as a gallery display place. And don't mind, don't mind my iron. But we got this blank wall on, on top of the bed. And I'm starting to think that I want some fabric. Maybe like putting Manasi's fabric in uh, a frame or maybe even some Edwe Kente, being that he's Edwe, we in Edwe country, but we in the Volta region. I feel like I never really do, um, I did do one time I did cloth, I did cloth on the um, wall, I had it specifically made and it was the Sesawo Suban and I used that batik, it was a batik. And he does batik too, that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do a batik. There's also something I want him to tie down. Let me show you, you're gonna love this, hold on. So anyway, when you say tie dye, remember they say tie and dye. That's what they call the art, which is make sure because you tie it and you dye it. All right. So this, I want to show you this. This is a jumpsuit that I wear when I uh, work out at the, at the Manasi border for me. This is strictly for working out, or I mean going to the farm, going to the bush, going to the land, and being there all day. It's really cute. It looks cute on it. It has some nerve. Does it have pockets? No. I'm going to have the seamstress actually put pockets in it. But I'm going to have him tie dye this. The zipper broke, I'm gonna have to see, just put a zipper on it, and I'm gonna have her tie dye this. Is this gonna be, of course, I think this is reflective, but is this gonna be dope in the, in the bush? I mean, styles in the bush. And I really wanna do, this is my next fashion too, I wanna actually do jumpsuits that look just like this. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have the um, seamstress make the jumpsuits. Just like this, but tie and dye, batique, but that same, I mean, these are nice with the fashion, but I think those are nice too. That's gonna bring, that's gonna be a beautiful style. So I'm gonna have a, that's gonna be my next line, is jumpsuits that look utilitarian. Like utility, kind of. Like you could work in it, but you don't. You could actually wear it with your Converse, your sneakers. You could wear it with your sandals. You could wear it to the, on a Saturday at the market. You could dress it up with heels and wear it out. But I specifically not, I love all these with the flare, slightly flare and a little stench waist. No, strictly, this is heck of cute on. Even though it's made for the bush. Like you can see this one, he got like the ghost person, like he can tie dye all that out, okay? Although this is good because we are busting the ghost and we don't really, you know, don't do no ghost. So, but, uh, oh, I ain't afraid of no ghosts, but this in that fabric. It's gonna be my team though. It's gonna be my team, so 
They would have an uncle on the back instead, you know, coming like, yo, because I'm really looking for, like, I want to inspire us to garden. It could be our garden. If I want us to inspire us to be out in the bush. I want to inspire us to get our, our planters and our our boxes and our raised beds and and but be cute in the garden, y'all. That is this this exact style. This exact you know, this is a style. This is a watch her make it. Watch her make it. So he's gonna tie dye that one and then I'm gonna make more straight from the fabric. But we tie dye that one. We tie dye that one. Excited. I need one of your nose clips on on okay and rings. Cause let me know, cause I love my nose clips. Let me go find them. So you need the nose clips and the ring. Yes, the ones with the uh, G I mean symbols on it. Tell me which one you want. Email me AfrocentricHomeDesign@gmail.com. Tell me which one you want. Two. Do you, what do you want? The G I mean. Do you? What did I have? Love. I have the unk. The G I mean. The the the, the uh, I think Rahene, which is the circular one. Um, I think I did the Sankofa. I can do the Akoma, which is the heart shape. And if you want the ring to match, let me know. I remember then I had the piece that went like this. Woo! I was doing it. And I don't know what other stuff is. Actually, I do. I just got to polish it. So, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. The sister with the blue head wrap is coming. I got to look for the cups or make them myself. So that's happening. And my sister with the soaps, I'm going to email you. So yeah, ladies, anyway, I just want to say, okay, so yes, absolutely and definitely, I would love to. Y'all, I want you to do me a favor that's watching this. If you are enjoying any of these videos that I've been coming to you every day with, please comment. For the people that's watching the replay, comment. I heard it's more important than a thumbs up. Uh, of course, you can subscribe. I would love for you to subscribe. Definitely want you to like, 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 like. If nothing else, give me a like. And also comment too, and share it with your friends that you know they may be interested in Afrocentric home design, even Afro boho, uh, maximalism. There's so many categories, or just great design in general. I feel like when it's a good design, it's funny. I may not, I, I may not have went to school, or even my place even looks like that kind of design that we'll see people that are trained. But I feel like you could have. I almost call it a rough and rugged way, and it's still beautiful and viable. And I think people would really like it. So I love y'all. I just wanted to show you that. I'm hungry. I'm going to see you on the next video. Hope you have a beautiful day. Another video that I want to do for y'all, too, is I work out five days a week in my house, and I have a morning routine that I do. And I'm thinking, <coughs> I'm thinking tomorrow... I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'm going to um, film the workout routine. But the thing why I have hesitated is because I need to design my own workout outfits. The ones that I have from the past, I'll see if I can piece them together. I think I got one and a half piece and the other, they, they're, they're um, worn out. And they were just really um, like a sample of the idea. I had a difficult time for people to even get the concept of it and then do it. So, I, but I got a way better seamstress and actually with the cloth, I'm going to definitely make my workout outfits. And I hope that you will also purchase those one, once I get them ready. So that's why, I mean, you know, I mean, why I came with a cute and workout. And I would love for y'all to see some bits and pieces a little bit. And what I do, because my workout is like at least an hour, I'll live, of course, I'm going to do live, I'll do like 15 minutes, and then the next day 15 minutes, and then the next day, so like that, and we'll work it out. Okay, ladies, I just want to share that, and I hope you're well. The nose clips, oh, you want the unk, the unk, exactly, did I mean, that's right. Hey, okay, no problem, and that guy from Texas, peace, peace to everyone, how are you? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the next one, let me go eat, I had a long class, it was a great class. I talked a lot, and now I have to uh, get used to this dang thing this way when I like it the other way. Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for everything. Oh, thank you. You love my hair. Thank you. I know, natural woman, right? It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Thank you.
Peace, Mimi, and thank you, that Dr. Thank you, love. I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.